You know, I know that everybody wants to reduce as much as possible, as much waste as possible from the landfill. So I want to take a little bit of time to discuss those materials that are accepted by all the local waste collection companies. And if we recycle just these top five materials, we can likely get to that climate action plan goal of 46% diversion by the year 2030. So let's get started. First, the basics. Does everyone know what the standard recycling symbol looks like? It's chasing arrows in the form of a triangle. Well, something like this. All recyclable packages have the recycle symbol on them. Generally, it's gonna be on the side or even on the bottom of a, a box, a bottle, or a can. Whenever you wanna know what is acceptable in the recycling bin, you should look at the signage on the cart or dumpster uh, or contact the waste collection company that provides the service at your location. So you're looking for something like this, a label that will tell you what's acceptable in that can. Okay, so uh, you can also um, go to the website of that hauling company and find this information as well. They collect what is called single stream recycling. Now this means that all the recyclables go into one cart or bin and they're taken to a materials recovery facility to be sorted into various commodities. They're then baled, and then they send them to the end markets to become new materials. Check out the city's recycling webpage at www.steamboatsprings.net forward slash recycling to learn more about all things recycling in the boat. We also have a downloadable flyer, looks like this. You can just click on that image on the webpage and uh, have, your own, have your own sign, your own flyer that you can follow to make sure that you're putting the right thing in the right bin. Well, now that we know what we're looking for, let's identify some of those examples of the top five in the bin. We're gonna start with cardboard. Sometimes it's called OCC or old corrugated cardboard. These are all corrugated. That's what these lines represent. These can go in the recycle bin. Other types of cardboard or boxes would be cereal boxes, maybe some cookie boxes. What we want to make sure we do, though, is flatten them down so that they don't take up too much space in the recycling bin. The next category we'll look at is mixed paper. Mixed paper could be your brown craft paper bag. Uh, maybe it's uh, some of that packaging, like looks kind of like what a box would be, but again, it's, it's, it's paper. We'll talk later about what all these things are made from, so we'll understand better why we want to divert them. So it could be, maybe it's the, in, the paper that you write on, take notes on. It could be a newspaper. Uh, all of this is paper. Paper packaging, um, as long as it doesn't have a lot of plastic on it, uh, even your junk mail, yep, even with the window, we can take that. All of these can go in the recycle bin. They fit in this category very nicely. Basically, any kind of paper that you would write on or print on is gonna fit in this category. If you can't write on it or print on it, like Kleenexes, and paper towels, please don't put them in. Plastic containers, number one, PET, or number two, high-density polyethylene, known as HDPE. Those are the two that all the recyclers in Steamboat Springs accept. So, where you're gonna find that number one is, again, it'll be on the bottom. Sometimes it's really hard to read, you gotta look for it. Uh, but it has a, a, a chasing arrows, it's that recycle symbol, and it will have a number in it, either a number one or a number two. And sometimes it's not just a bottle, sometimes it's packaging, again, on the bottom. So what you should be looking for is really something like this. If you find a number on the bottom of the plastic bottle that it's not inside of those chasing arrows or inside of that triangle, then it should not be put in the recycling bin. Or if you do not even find a recycling symbol on that plastic, you need to throw that in the trash. By the way, all the containers should be clean and empty. Metal food and drink cans, uh, again, all containers should be empty and clean. Um, this category is, is really looking at aluminum cans, mostly drink cans. Sometimes, did you know that your cat food might be in a aluminum can? Again, want to make sure it's clean and empty. The other are steel cans, um, like these beautiful sliced peaches, yummy. Uh, this is a tin can and it can go in the recycle bin as well. The metal that cannot go in your recycle bin are things like um, scrap metal, uh, car parts, uh, door hinges, 
Uh, maybe pots and pans. Those don't belong in your recycle bin. Those can be taken to the scrap metal dealer. And lastly, number five, glass bottles and jars. All containers must be clean and empty. And uh, we'll make sure that our lids are not on there. Toss that into our trash can. This category really is focused on drinks and jars. So maybe your spaghetti sauce jar or your kombucha. You know, that's what goes in this bin. What does not go in this bin are windows, glass dishes, light bulbs, ceramics. So let's pay attention to that. All right, now let's see if we can get this all sorted out. 